week's Mornings in Corning was done via Zoom, and I interviewed Sonia Clancy, who does some pet portraits. You'll like this, Chelsea. Take a look. Tell me what it is that you do, first of all. Yeah, absolutely. So I am a pet portrait and fine artist. Uh, and the way that I got into that was I am actually a veterinary technician by trade. Uh, and as I was trying to pay my way through schooling, I started offering pet portraits to friends and family. And uh, it, it kind of grew from there. And soon enough, I had a two-year waiting list of I was trying to get through my schooling and trying to get these portraits done at the same time, but decided, you know, veterinary technician, that was what I wanted to do. But then motherhood came along and, you know, as we all know, the veterinary field is it's a tough one. And the hours for technicians can be really challenging if you need a flexible lifestyle like I do for my very young two little boys. Uh, so when that transition happened, I decided, well, let's see where the art might take me. And I launched full time in March of last year uh, and it has been a whirlwind. We have a special edition of Mornings and Cornings today. That's right. Here's more of my interview with pet portrait artist, Zonya Clancy. I've been exceedingly busy. I am growing as an artist. I'm expanding in what I offer. Uh, I had my very first gallery showing uh, in the summer of 2021. Uh, and I, I'm hoping to ex continue to grow and see a lot of big things this year. But most of my art focuses on pets, like you can see here. Uh, you know, and that kind of combines the interests that I've always had. I've always just, I, I love animals. I, and I love bringing that emotion into art. We see a lot of pet portraits that, you know, sure, it, it, it is your, your pet, but they're, they're kind of standard. Uh, they, they showcase the pet very well, but I wanted to incorporate a lot of contemporary art and an abstract feel and a lot of just big personality. So that's what you tend to see in both my fine art and my pet portrait art is unique ways of d defining what a pet portrait can be. So my signature is a lot of this sort of splatter style that you see in a lot of my pieces. And I like to bring that in with hints of realism in the pet itself, but abstract in my backgrounds. So you were always artistic growing up. When did you start doing, um, like, when did you start painting with your pets and everything? You know, interestingly, I had always been good at art. I took, you know, art classes. I, I loved it in school, in high school. I always made sure to have an art class on my curriculum. Uh, but it was never my focus. Science was what I wanted to do. Uh, I actually really wanted to become a doctor, and I did my undergraduate uh, at a Bachelor of Sciences, and I did my MCATs, I did the whole thing, and then I had a sudden realization that that was not what I wanted to be doing. I was volunteering at a local shelter at the time, I got into dog training, and I realized the animal world was where I wanted to be, uh, and I started working at a veterinary clinic to see if becoming a veterinarian was what I wanted to do. And once I got in there, I realized that the technician is where it's at. They get to do all the fun stuff. They do the hands-on things. They really are the ones taking care of the pet. So I never expected art to be where I am now and never expected to elevate my art to this level. It's always just a hobby, something I was just doing for fun. And here we are now with, you know, working on getting portraits into galleries and expanding what I'm able to offer, what I can call a pet portrait. It's time for our exciting weekly segment highlighting some of our aspiring local artists. And this week's Mornings in Courting was done via Zoom and I interviewed Zanya Clancy who does pet portraits. Take a look. Now on my right, which might be your left, I think it's backwards, mm -hmm. you, we have yes. it's a background. Is that going to be a background for a pet portrait? It's not. So uh, in this last year, I have discovered alcohol inks as a medium. So prior to this discovery, really the only thing I've genuinely been interested in painting is, is pets and people's pets more specifically, commissioned work, 
uh, or people contact me and they ask me to paint their pets. Uh, but in the discovery of alcohol ink, I have really grown to love the media. It's very challenging. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be to learn, and I'm still very much learning it. But with realism, it takes a lot of focus. There's a lot of intense uh, emotions that come with it, trying to really capture the essence of what you're trying to do. Whereas alcohol ink, I have very little control over what it actually does. So it's like night and day and leaning into this media a little bit more and just seeing where it takes me and letting it do the work is allowing me to express my works in a lot of different ways. We have our special edition of Mornings in Corning today. Here's more of my interview with Pat portrait artist Sonia Clancy. So I've been painting for about the last 10 years doing these pet portraits, but really have created a business within the last, uh, last year trying to get my art out there. Whereas before it was very, I didn't talk about it very much. Uh, people heard about it through word of mouth and they would contact me directly. Whereas now I'm actually putting myself out there. I'm working on trying to get my art to galleries and into shops and, uh, find markets to showcase that and really become part of the community. Now um, you're doing this and balancing this and motherhood. Where do you yeah. want your business to go from here? Yes. So that is what I love about what I do is as uh, an entrepreneur, really, I define what my work looks like. Uh, my husband has a very taxing job with uh, extremely difficult hours and conditions. He's an emergency medicine physician. So a, a traditional nine to five life doesn't work for us anymore. And I really wanted to make sure that uh, I could have time to be with my kids and be present with them when needed. But then at the same time, if I have seasons where I need to get a lot of work done and you know I have family here helping me out, that's uh, allowing me to get some of that work done. So it gives me the best of both worlds to be with my kids. you get your inspiration from do you ever go into it where you're painting just a random dog or is it always commission based uh so i've actually just this last year started doing pieces that aren't commission based so this was actually my first piece here it's called bite of joy uh in almost a decade that i've painted just purely because i wanted to I, I still used a reference photo for it, and I was lucky enough to have a friend give me the photo. I saw it on her, on her Facebook and was just totally inspired by it. Whereas normally, commission pieces, people send me their photos, and I work from those. So that's what this one is here, is a photo that was sent to me that I'm working on uh, for someone right now. But I'm hoping this year to be spending more time doing some more pieces like this. And I really want to challenge what a pet portrait can look like with interesting angles and interesting compositions. Like this isn't something that you typically tend to see with uh, yeah, a corgi about to take a bite out of the dandelion. I wanna find those moments where pets just exude their essence and uh, it, it really is just something completely unique. It's just that, fun moment that you don't always get to see in paint.